Okay, so we're starting <clears throat> 3-8 today. On page 4 of our spiral, I need you to take your notes. We'll start off with the objective. I can add and subtract mixed numbers. We'll start off with the example for adding 9 and 2 thirds plus 12 and 2 thirds. Notice both denominators are the same, so that's going to make our lives easy. What we can do is we can take the whole numbers and rewrite the problem as 9 plus 12 and 2 thirds plus 2 thirds. So first I'm going to add the 9 plus 12, which is going to be 21. Plus, 2 thirds plus 2 thirds would be 4 thirds. Well, 4 thirds is an improper fraction, and it can be rewritten as 1 and 1 third, because if I take the 3 thirds plus the 1 third, that gives me 4 thirds. So I'm going to take this part here and move it back to my problem. I'm going to take this one and add it to the 20, so I get 22. And then this one third just stays with it, and we become 22 and one third. Another example would be 5 and 1 eighth plus 3 and 5 sixths. Again, we can just move the whole numbers over, 5 plus 3, and then we're going to move the fractions over separately. This is where we're using our commutative property again. We can move numbers with addition. The problem here is that we don't have um, like denominators. We have an 8 for a denominator here and a 6 for a denominator here. So we want to think of a common denominator so we can convert those. I'm thinking 24, so this is going to be multiplied by 3 over 3 and this is going to be multiplied by 4 over 4. So my 5 thirds I can bring down as 8, and I have that whole number 8. And now I'm going to have 3 over 24 added on to this, plus 20 over 24. And now I can add my fractions together, and I get 23 over 24, which transfers to 8 and 23 over 24. I do want to look and see if I can reduce that. I can't. 23 is prime, and so it is finished. I'm going to try the same idea with some subtraction problems. Let's start off pretty easy with 4 and 2 thirds minus 2 and 1 third. We're going to use commutative property, take it apart a little bit, and say 4 minus 2 and 2 thirds minus 1 third. Why am I using a plus sign here? Remember, plus or addition also means and. We have our whole numbers and we have our fractions. So we end up with 2 plus 1 third, which we can just rewrite as 2 and 1 third. Another example, 12 and 8 ninths minus 8 and 2 thirds. Another way to write these is, is uh, lining them up from top to bottom instead of going across like this. This might help some people. I'm going to do 12 minus 9, and the fractions are going to line up next to it. So I've got 12 and 8 ninths minus 9 and 2 thirds. We notice that we have 3 and 9 for our denominators, so we want to multiply this one by 3 over 3 to get it to be ninths as well. So I end up with 6 ninths, 
through 8 ninths. I'm going to reduce my whole numbers, 12 minus 9 equals 3. Reduce the fractions, 8 minus 6 is 2 over 9. Just a different way to write it. It could also work with the addition problems where you could line them up. Let's just pop back up here real quick. I could have done 5 and 1 8 plus 3 and 5 6. And when I converted those fractions, I could have put them right next to it. And I would have had 8 and 23 24 Again, just a slightly different way to write the same problem. Depends on what works visually for you and your organization. Okay, our last example. <clears throat> 17 and 1 8 minus 12 and 3 8 So 17 and 1 8 minus 12 and 3 8 all right, right away I'm noticing I have the same denominator, which is great. I don't have to convert the fractions. But I'm noticing that this is 1 8 and I'm taking 3 8 away from it. That means I do have to do some borrowing. So I'm going to borrow from the 17 and make it 16. And how much should I take out of it? I took out 1, but I'm going to put that 1 in fraction form. So 16 plus 8 over 8 would still be 17, and I still have my 1 8. So now I'm going to rewrite my whole problem as 16 and 9 8 minus 12 and 3 8. 9 minus 3 is 6 over 8. 16 minus 12 is 4. This fraction can be reduced. If I take 2 out of both the numerator and denominator. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So my final answer is 4 and 3 fourths. So on your contract, I have a few problems for you to try for 3-8. We're going to do page 182, numbers 10, through 26 and if you're having trouble with any of those problems like number 10 is a word problem if you're having a little trouble setting it up you might go and look at example one for the video okay